Bite Squirrel here, and I've got a question for you. Who doesn't like nice shiny rocks? According to my wife, it's only kids and myself that do, but hey, we're taking a walk in the back of the property with a little one. We found some shiny rocks, and obviously the question came up. Do you think there's gold in there? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. We got some samples here. I'm no geologist by any mean, but it looks like pyrite and maybe some mica. And I guess we got to crush it up and pan it out to see if there's any gold in it. So let's get started. Who knows what we might find. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep two separate samples uh, and kind of just pan them separately and just have some fun and see what we find. So we have these samples here from the same rock, lots of pyrite. Um, and I don't really know too much about rocks. I'm just starting to get into it. So uh, we'll find out what there is inside of them and uh, see if maybe we can get, separate some type of metals or if it's just sulfides in them. So we got a scrap plate here that's going to be used as a base. We have a piece of piping that has been cut. It's just some scrap left over. So the plan is to kind of weld it up on the backing plate. Basically, we'll put the puck on top and we can use the air hammer to start crushing it. And as it gets filled up with our fines, we can empty it off in our pan or wherever the uh, fines are going to be going. So that's the basic plan. We'll put it together and see how this works. That's some beautiful bubble gum. Let's test it out. And here we are, our first set of sample rocks, all crushed up, They're ready to be panned out. Let's see how this works. Ah, all right, our concept has been validated. I think I might almost know what I'm doing when I start panning. Uh, nothing came out of it, uh, kind of like what was expected. So let's get to these nice shiny bits. These are the ones with uh, all the bits of what I think is pyrite. So let's crush these and see what we get. Well, here's comparing it with a known sample of mic I have. You can see this one's coming off in sheets. And there's a few different colors as far as uh, mineralization. It doesn't quite look like it, but it does have a little bit of the same color. So I think it's mica more than pyrite. Although there was some uh, magnetization, I was able to stick some little rare earth magnets on it. So we'll see what happens with the pan. I expect to find some heavies at the bottom after crushing it. So let's see what we come up with. All right, here we go. Time to pan this out. Now, since I don't actually know what I'm doing, I got a little catch basin here, so I'm going to pan it inside of there. And uh, if I screw up, it doesn't matter. It's all going to get caught in here, and I can just 
repan it or uh, maybe even later on try to melt it and smelt it and see what we get out of it so here we go let's see what happens Well, I definitely see why they call it fool's gold. We can see lots of shiny pieces here that look golden in a certain light, but as soon as you move it, it goes to a copper or brass color instead of gold. So I think just a few more light pans and we'll take a look and a bit of a close up to see what's left at the bottom. Moment of truth. Doesn't look like very much. Let's get a bit of a close up to see if there's anything in there. Well, here it is. A couple of shiny pieces in there, but gold is uh, heavier than uh, everything else so we should be seeing in here. So from what I understand, we should be seeing it on the outside. If it's kind of floating in the water in the middle, mixed with the rocks and the rest of the sand, then it's definitely nothing too valuable. Try to get a bit of a close-up here. Well, here's the one piece that was looking shiny and yellow, but having trouble focusing on it as soon as I change my angle a little bit. it uh, The yellow changes. So that... Uh, Unfortunately, I don't think is anything useful. Well, no gold or even any heavies in the pan this time. But I wouldn't consider it a complete failure. Finally got around to making that can crusher I've been putting off for a while. Come to think, I haven't even set anything on fire yet. Can't leave it at that, can we?